hey what's going on my name is Harrison and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on trigger boxes and how those trigger boxes can react only to a specific actor so let's go ahead and look at the final product right now there should always be a github link down in the description below if you just want to take the code and move along but if you want to watch the video then let's continue let's push play so we have a trigger box right here outlined in green when I enter it nothing happens but when this box enters it, then you'll see the uh, the logout messages print to the screen. So we enter it and it has an exit and it exits. So there's an overlap begin and an overlap end function only to these, only to this box. And I set up the box in the trigger event uh, details panel. So I put it right here under specific actor. And maybe this can be helpful if you're making a game that you want the door to open when the character holds a specific key or you just want another event to happen if, uh, if, if, if something interacts with that box. So <clears throat> exit out, I'm going to delete it from the world and recreate it in C++. Right click, new C++ class, uh, click show all classes, type in trigger, and we want a trigger box. Uh, go ahead and call it my trigger box actor. I think that should suffice. All right, so the engine just created the files for us. Let's go ahead and set up our header file. Uh, the first thing we want to do is create a protected begin function. We want to override it on play. Protected virtual void. Begin play, uh, begin play override, public, uh, let's do our constructor, a, uh, what's it going to be, a, my trigger box actor, close it out. Now let's set up our two overlap functions, they're going to be two u functions. Uh, the first one we'll call void on overlap begin. It will take two parameters, uh, two actor parameters, pointer, we'll call this one overlapped actor. The next one will be called other actor. Other actor. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste it for a second function. I'm going to change begin to end. Uh, now we want to add one more thing. We want to add a U actor, a U property that's editable anywhere. Edit anywhere. And we'll make it an actor so we can add any actor we want when we're inside the editor to trigger those events. And we'll call it specific actor. Okay, that should be it for the header file. Let's go ahead and jump into the CPP file. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, let's make things e things easy. Let's go ahead and define a print function so we can print to the screen easier when we're down below. Uh, define print f string. Uh, I'm just going to call it print f actually. It's just faster. Print f text f string uh, if g engine. G engine arrow operator add on screen debug message. Uh, let's say be on screen for five seconds. Color can be green, two colons. Uh, what do we do? We go F string, two colons, print F. Um, all caps.
caps text and go text uh, that should be followed by an f string or parameter and then that should be it I think uh, yeah all right that's a visualizer box let's include draw debug helpers include draw debug helpers .h. now let's drop down into our constructor we'll have to create it manually uh, what's our thing called my uh, trigger box actor a my trigger box actor constructor here we're going to register our events so on actor overlap begin and on actor overlap and uh, what functions do we want to add to this actor to play on those events so first on actor begin overlap dot add dynamic uh, this so bind to this actor uh, reference a my trigger box actor uh, my trigger box actor and we're calling on overlap begin function that we haven't created yet we'll create it in a second I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it for the end function on actor end overlap and we're gonna run on overlap and not. Next, let's override our begin play function. Void a my trigger box actor. Uh, begin actor. Uh, begin play. A super begin play. And here we're gonna draw our debug box. Draw a debug box. Uh, get world. Get actor location because we want it to be drawn at the location that we put in the game world. Get actor location. Um, we want it to be as big as we make the actor. So we're going to do get com get components components bounding box. Then get extent. Where'd I go? Shoot. Get extent. Uh, we'll make it whatever color we want. In this case, let's just make it green. It's simple. Uh, don't erase it. So we make that true. Zero. And we'll do five unreal units. This should be it for drawing the, the, the box. Let's go ahead and make our overlap events. Uh, void a my trigger box actor on overlap begin oh let me just go ahead to the header file so I can copy over the parameters then we only we're taking in those two actor parameters of overlapped actor and other actor I see I made a mistake make it one word not two save that I gotta do the same thing in the header file Okay, now let's add in our logic. So one, if other actor is true, uh, and if other actor does not equal itself, and if other actor equals our specific actor that we'll uh, define in the editor. And we created that variable in the header. And so if all of that is true, let's just go print F. Um, what do we want to do with this? Uh, let's go percent string has entered the box. 
And to get that, we're going to go pointer, other actor, dot get name. No, not dot, but arrow operator, get name. Uh, and now let's do the same for the end function. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, change what I need to on overlap end. And let's say it has left the box. Huh. Um, I think that should be it. We're going to compile, see if there's any bugs, and go from there. We got some bugs going on. Other undefined, other actor. So 23 and 25. Spelled that, include other actor. You should be right. Let's go ahead and try it again. Other, okay, so I have a mistake in 25, a, a typo. 25 is a not spelled right. Yeah, it's not gonna be spelled. It's gonna be spelled wrong and the following one as well because I copy and pasted it. Save, compile. Oh, let's pray. All right, uh, the compile was successful. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into the game world. Uh, my trigger box actor. Um, I'm gonna push R to resize. Let's make it bigger. Uh, w so I can move it. All right. So we have that there. Let's push play. We have the box nothing's triggering as I enter it oh you know what I didn't set up the actor let's select it uh, whatever this uh, let's click this actor this actor is edit cube 21 let's go ahead and add that to our specific actor uh, variable right here under my trigger box actor we can click here go edit cube 21 select that now let's push play and now let's see if it works we shoot it into the box and we get the two print messages on when it enters and when it exits. For the overlap to work, you have to uh, include on overlap events. So for this actor, for this cube, go ahead and click it. Uh, type in overlap to find the overlap function in the details panel. Uh, right now I always, I already have it selected, but I mean, I don't think they're always, but by default it probably won't be. So just go ahead and select it and move along. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.